have a narcissist in your life? Here are the top signs that you might. First, is everything always your fault? Narcissists cannot take any accountability and they will blame you for everything, even things that you should not be blamed for at all. You will find over and over again that you can never win a fight. You always have to be the one apologizing and it can make you start to feel like you are abusive yourself because they just keep blaming everything on you. Next, does this person lie all the time? Narcissists lie over little things too. You watch them eat a croissant for breakfast and they'll lie and say that they had pancakes. They don't see lying as a bad thing. They see it as a way to communicate. They lie about big things, they can break the law, they can cheat on you, and they'll lie about little things. They'll also constantly be gaslighting you. They'll start to make you question your reality, question your memory. Wait, I thought it happened like this, now you're telling me it happened that way, but I have it on video. They will talk you out of your feelings, your emotions. They will do mental gymnastics to try to confuse you. The more confused you are, the more likely you are to stay. Which brings me to point number three. Does this person have a fear of abandonment? Almost all narcissists have a fear of abandonment. And even when they hate your guts and they're calling you the most horrible names in the book, they cannot be abandoned by you. So you start to get in cycles with this person where they're yelling at you, telling you that they're never going to speak to you again, but then calling you up next week like nothing ever happened. Next, does this person have completely unrealistic expectations of you and the people around them? Narcissists have a gross sense of entitlement, so they will just stay at your house for a month and eat all your food when you told them they could only be there for three days. They will ask you to buy them the most expensive car when you can't afford it. They'll make you take out loans in your name trick you into giving more of your money, time, energy, and attention than you want to give. And they have no problem completely violating your boundaries when you tell them we're spending too much time together. They get angry at that. They are not understanding and they don't like to be told no. Next, did this person love bomb you? Did the relationship go very quickly? They were giving you gifts. They were texting you all the time. They were telling you that you're their soulmate. Narcissists idolize you when they meet you. They think that you're gonna swoop in, save them from themselves, and fix all of the problems in their life. These are completely unrealistic expectations that set you up for failure and devaluation from day one. Because when the narcissist realizes that you are indeed just a mere mortal, they start to devalue you. They start to treat you really, really badly. And they might even start to cheat on you and look elsewhere for that next person to idolize. Finally, does this person have a complete lack of empathy? Narcissists not only have a lack of empathy, but they will try to one-up you when you are having an issue. If you go to the hospital, they're talking about how they had pneumonia five years ago. They will one-up your ailments, and when bad things happen to the people that they supposedly love, you can tell that they just really don't care all that much. If you would like one-on-one -on -one remote narcissistic abuse recovery coaching, you can email me. My email's in my bio.